Uh, Holyfield is uh, a board that we've kind of got out back, so to speak. We haven't talked about him a lot, uh, certainly haven't publicized him. Uh, Holyfield is out of um, H385, uh, which is a Hampshire board here at the farm. Uh, and Holyfield's mother is a clone of Carol. And uh, I can tell you that we've done a lot of cloning over the last uh, several years. And uh, the clone of Carol uh, is probably as close of a phenotypic match uh, as we've ever had. Uh, she's impressive, uh, visually very, very impressive. Uh, visually looks um, a lot like uh, Carol herself. And uh, this, this boar pig out of her uh, is pretty unique looking. Uh, he's different. Uh, we, we don't have anything else around here like him. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't really seen anything like him in my travels of late. And uh, we, we used him in a couple key spots here to figure out uh, how he was gonna generate and just where we could use him. Uh, the mother of these two 17s is a backdrop, King of the Hill. Uh, she is extra bulky, extra stout, very moderate. Uh, she's burly, uh, very, very burly, very stout. Uh, Holyfield himself is, uh, he's just got a very distinct um, look up front. Uh, had extra big legs, uh, but again, he was just different looking. I don't know, Boots will, I'm sure Boots will have something else to say about him, but uh, these pigs are intriguing to me. Uh, they, they're obviously different looking than the, than the then and nows, and uh, we've been looking at those litter after litter, and uh, these have got a different look. Neat stuff here again as we continue through this 217 litter, and, uh, you know, obviously we talked earlier about his other litter mates, just about their comfort level, their flexibility, um, and their maturity pattern. You know, obviously this one's not just overly bloomy or just stout and powerful in terms of just muscle and just width as a 40-pound pig, but um, again, we start talking about everything on paper, um, and I could tell you, um, and part of this pedigree, um, you know, that's... The <laughs> You know, this is the way all the good ones started. Um, they were really skinny. Um, they were really late coming. Um, but on top of that, this one's got the skull, the tail root, the rear foot size, and the just rear bone. Um, that gives you just that much more confidence that eventually one day you're going to have it. And when you've got it, you're going to have a really comfortable, really attractive kind of a bear with just an awesome presence, awesome proportionality in terms of his balance and lines from the side. He's long-hipped. He's awesome-legged, strong-footed. Um, you know, again, just a different twist on pedigree here that should give you just a little bit more confidence that, uh, you know, that this thing's got even just that much more of a chance to feed and progress the way they're supposed to. I think good stuff here in 217.4. Awesome built, awesome made, really, really uh, exciting, uh, has a really, really uh, exciting amount of potential here going forward.